And they were promising a terafactory at a smaller footprint than a gigafactory. So what is actually the path to get there, right? And they're promising that at a 70% decrease in CapEx as well. As you can see, it's Tesla's goal to break down a China-dominated battery supply chain. If Tesla are building this battery materials hub in Austin, the arrows will begin to point to the US for the first time. Uh, that's something really important. It's changing the balance, if you like, of industrial power. That is a really important part underpinning Tesla's strategy. Thanks for joining us for our second video. We're going to have actually two videos today regarding Piedmont Lithium. The stock is up some 200% on NASDAQ after being up 80% on the ASX after announcement of a deal with Tesla. This first video are my thoughts I recorded yesterday, which included some of those uh, from Benchmark Minerals that you just saw. And the subsequent video will be with my partner, Rodney Hooper, based in Cape Town, which we recorded this morning. I'd also like to draw your attention to a one hour, uh, I guess, webinar tomorrow hosted by Minds and Money, which uh, I'm going to be co-hosting, where Keith Phillips, the CEO of Piedmont Lithium, will be on the panel, as will uh, Critical Elements in Quebec, Talon Metals, a nickel story in Minnesota, as well as Sigma Lithium in Brazil. The auto industry, we've all been lamenting, when is the auto industry going to get into the lithium business? So they actually are. I mean, Tesla, the biggest auto OEM, is making their own cathode, firstly, that's huge, but they're making lithium hydroxide. When statements are being made like, we're gonna be doing three terawatt hours ourselves in 2030, the immediate question that we have is, how will you build a supply chain along with the expectations of three terawatt hours of battery capacity in 10 years. When they were talking about initiatives around more American involvement in their US supply chain with the cathode, with chemicals and mining, it, it, it's been a long time coming that as a market leader, Tesla goes out and talks about geopolitics and supply chain. Obviously, we're going to go and start building our own cathode facility in North America and leveraging all of the North American resources that exist for nickel and lithium. And just doing that, just localizing our cathode supply chain and production, we can reduce miles traveled by all the materials that end up in the cathode by 80%, which is huge for cost. Tesla is not a car company. Tesla is a battery and software company. My biggest open question is the entire cathode section of the presentation. Like all of the claims made regarding nickel and eliminating cobalt, basically everything to do with lithium that they stated. The way the lithium ends up in the cell is through the cathode. So then we should obviously on-site lithium conversion as well, which is what we will do using a new process that we're gonna pioneer. That's a sulfate-free process again, skip the intermediate. 33% um, reduction in lithium cost, 100% electric facility co-located with the cathode plant. They're getting into the lithium business. And will other groups follow? Will VW follow? I don't know. But what's for sure is they're not picking DLE. They're not picking South American Bryant's. They are picking hard rock to hydroxide conversion. So what else does that mean? Leaving aside what we believe is seven to 10 years on clay, there's Piedmont is their hard rock source, but what other hard rock sources might they get? Cathode production would be part of our, the, te the Tesla cell production plant. So it would just be, you know, basically, you know, uh, raw materials coming from the mine and uh, from raw materials in the mine, out comes a battery. Right, so our talk about Canada for a long time, Carolina to Quebec, hydroxide hub, you know, there's James Bay of Galaxy, there's Critical Elements, there's Siona's Othier, obviously Wabuchi, um, and a few other, you know, there's, there's plenty of hard rock in Canada. There's also Sigma in Brazil. So where else is there hard rock? The Western Hemisphere, that very much, there's tons and tons and tons of hard rock that maybe they'll do clay, Maybe they'll do the LE. I think we're in all of the above. We, we think that there's plenty to be done there, but we believe there's an abundance of spodumene 
So plain vanilla, proven, cheap, cheapest route to get to hydroxide, and Tesla's using this new sulfate-free process, we need to understand what that is. Because the reality is, hard rock is still a very small industry. You really only have Mount Marion to Ganfeng and Greenbush's Almos plants and Tangxi's plants in China in their locations. The processes are, I mean, conventional, but Tesla's doing a sulfate-free process and they're gonna improve upon that. Um, and Piedmont's probably gonna use that process as well. So that process is likely to become the standard process. And Tesla's gonna develop on their own, but Piedmont is developing their strategy as well to be hydroxide. So we're suddenly gonna have not just in China and you know, Western Australia has botched, you know, t I mean, Cameron's gonna be built there, but it doesn't make sense. You just listen to what Tesla said. Doesn't make sense. Actually, might Albemarle change their strategy for Cameron? Uh, because Elon Musk is basically saying, you don't need to be close to my mouth. You need to be close to cathode and battery production. So Albemarle follows its customers. But do you see a, a role or as an American company, as, as an American, um, you know, championing kind of U.S. battery cathode investments and then Albemarle being, you know, strategically important raw material supplier to say GM, Ford, you know, VW, USA, you know, et cetera? Yeah. Boy, that's, that's tough when you run a global business because you, you got to go where your customers are. And if you, if you look, 50 percent of all the EVs today are in China. Uh, a bigger, maybe 25% Europe, and then 15% U.S. and the rest of the world. Dave, that about right? Yes. Um, so you can't ignore China. Um, we are in the midst of a global battery arms race, which so far the U.S. is a bystander. Those that control these supply chains will hold the balance of industrial power for the 21st century auto and energy industries. So... Can be very interesting like so as um simon was saying the commanding heights you know and the redirection of the industry right is going from china to the united states as a result of that so might you know albemarle has king's mountain there's you know there's 50 they're saying they have fifty thousand tons might this accelerate their development might they buy piedmont with you Why didn't he pick Lithium Americas? He talked about a acid-free process. The pre-feasibility study for Lithium Americas that's currently being evaluated, evaluated by the Bureau of Land Management, okay, is based on a 2018 pre-feasibility study in which, if you look at the cost, 44% of the total cost of making their lithium carbonate, not even hydroxide, they're making lithium carbonate, but 44% of that cost is sulfuric acid. So they're publishing a new definitive feasibility study, but that whole acid component clearly is not something that Elon Musk is happy about. Otherwise, why wouldn't he pursue, if he's so much believing in clay, why wouldn't he pursue Lithium America's project where his own former employees have actually created that flow sheet? So instead, he's going to Hard Rock. That's the reality. The reality is he's partnering with Piedmont and he's building his own hydroxide. So this is mind-blowing. They talked about a mind-blowing battery day. In the lithium space, this is mind-blowing. They're building cathode, they're building hydroxide, and they're using Hard Rock as the preferred feedstock. Thanks for joining me for Rockstock Channel's second video, Tesla's Piedmont Lithium. As you know, I'm a shareholder and an advisor to Piedmont, and none of what you're hearing is financial advice. Please read the disclaimer at the end of this video and on our website. And if you like this content, please subscribe by clicking the button on the bottom right hand of the screen and the notification bell to alert you when new videos are published. Please also give a thumbs up and leave some comments or questions to help us improve this content going forward.